entrance of Gold Hills Campus. Today, we're going to show you the Eagle Hawk. Uh, it's just a storage walkthrough here. So we're going to start at the front. We're going to start with this compartment just here. It's got a 16 inch spare wheel. Okay. Nice and simple. The next compartment is our kitchen area. Simply just unlock, like so. That's your travel lock. And simply just pull out. It's going to pull out. There is enough space here. We put our Weber here, but it's enough space to put a fridge, a small fridge, with a 12 volt or an Anderson plug there. And then to see where you're going at night, it's a simple light. Okay, it does shine out quite a, quite a distance. Okay. Next, we'll talk about the kitchen. Simply just pull out, and the legs will go down at the bottom. Two burner, Dometic. Gas cooks on with a simple sink uh, plumbed in. Simply just lift up to activate the water. Like this will you. Simple down to stop the water. Okay. Now we'll talk about our um, kitchenette area. Simply just with these simple locks. All these keys are key to lock, so around the whole thing you can lock it up. We'll start here, this is our simple electronic control. We're talking about our um, control panel here. We have two speakers up top, Sony. Moving down, we have our water. All right, so full empty at the moment, it's empty. We have our 12 volt plug. We have our USB. We have our uh, percentage of battery. Uh, we have uh, fuse damps with all their sockets there. And then over here we have a circuit breaker, okay? Moving on to your radio, which you can play uh, Bluetooth, CD, USB, all the above. Then we've got our little area here. Now, you can put cutlery, you can put food, um, utensils, whatever you want to do. And then we talk about our... One there. And then we talk about our serving area. So that's a hard surface. Um, you can put a chopping board down. You don't need to, obviously you will ruin the surface if you do just chop on it. Um, but yeah, a really good area to prepare food. So we'll go down to where our batteries are. We have dual batteries with dual access opening, okay? So it makes it nice and easy to get in each individual battery out. Uh, they are both are 100 amps. You do get a total of 200 amp power uh, batteries. Talking about the rear of the camper now. Um, start off at the bottom. We've got two four-wheel drive recovery points. Uh, this little bad boy here, which can be used as a bike rack, essentially. Uh, light, obviously. Uh, and another access point at the back here. Uh, just whatever you really want, really. Um, just a nice, neat little storage unit. You might want to put pegs, hammers, all that sort of stuff, so quick and easy access. Uh, so we'll open the fridge box here. This is also a pantry. Now, it does come with an extra large, and I'm talking extra large fridge slide. The biggest one that we've got in our camper range. Now, the reason that we've done this is purely for a large fridge, small fridge, but also to have pantry goods and whatever you want in the rear. Also, on the back here, we do have one under the other. It can be whatever you want, okay? Food, storage, chairs. Um, it's, it's really up to you. All locking points as well, so all travel locks. Now, in, in the way of fridges, this will fit, um, so the biggest 100 litre fridge is the Mike Coolman at the moment, um, that we sell. Uh, it'll fit that, no worries. And it'll fit the tallest angle, which is the 80 litre, 80 litre angle. All with travel locks. So when you're powering your fridge, we actually do have a 12 volt socket here, and Anderson. Benefit about this one, you've actually got a light internal. So you can see whatever's in there if you don't use it as a fridge. So moving on to the driver's side of the camper trailer, um, we like to call this a sort of a cupboard area, purely because this does come over and it does act as a shelter. So we've actually got our cupboards here. We classify this as his and hers, or hers and his, or hers and hers. 
on here. It's nice and simple. It does reflect the fairway air, so you won't be able to see that ladder at night time. We've got two 12 volt plugs here. Now, the beauty about these, you can actually plug something in here, fold them through your window either side, okay? So you do get the charging of a night time. Now, we've got one more here. This one's a little bit more advanced. It's got a little bit more just below his or hers, or hers and hers, you have our water fill up point, okay? Moving around, this is a simple storage um, solution here. Um, it's just extra storage, you can use it however you want. Uh, you might be able to fit a little generator in there. Backs onto the uh, the spare wheel, so we just put a shelf in there. Um, plenty of storage in this, in this thing, all times. So now we're on the business end of the front, and this is where you, you put most of your stuff. Now we talk about in here, um, you've got a nice big stone guard, so actually come out over the whole top of whatever you put in there. This one here is designed for a nine kilo gas bottle, okay? Uh, and then eventually it will have gas pumping uh, to your front here, which will then hook into your um, cook top. So you, as soon as that's ready to go, you're, you're ready to cook. The front box here, gas strut design, plenty of storage. Um, we've got a, a stone guard on the front here as well, just the paintwork. And then we have also have a light on the side. So nice and simple, light switches on the side. And then on this side, it's exactly the same as this side, except it's got two 20 litre jerry can holders. Talking about the front here, um, we've gone with a uh, 120 mil drawbar uh, now, or chassis. Uh, and we've also got Australian made uh, mud flaps. Swing up jockey wheel, handbrake, rated chain, with the tow hitch here. Also, you've also got your, uh, your Anderson plug, hook in your car to charge your batteries while you're travelling, and run your fridge, and you've got a flat pin. Uh, this can be changed out for a round pin. Uh, this is what's standard with the unit, um, but it's not really any hassle for us to change. Right, so moving on to the top storage now. Um, we do have a little top storage here. Uh, obviously a windbreak there, um, just for where, you know, if it starts raining and whatnot, it's not gonna get saturated while it's in there. Um, nice, simple, unclip, access point. Uh, you can throw chairs, you can throw whatever you want in there. Um, Anything that can, can get a little bit of rain, go for it. Also got a rear storage area, access point, and then another one on the other side. So, underneath the side here, we have our independent suspension. Um, we have our spring with bump stops, a safety chain, two dual chockers, uh, and that's on both sides as well. And then we have a 12 inch electric brakes uh, either side. Uh, moving towards the rear, we have our water tank. Now, that's a, that's a 100 litre stainless steel with a um, with a check plate uh, guard, and then you've also got a drainage plug. 